Hey, I'm Donald Bell from Maker Project Lab, and today we're taking a look inside the new Amazon Echo Alexa compatible version of the Big Mouth Billy Bass Talking Fish. I got this for $40 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick one up for yourself if you want to, but I would watch this video all the way through before making that purchase. So here's the fish, and as some of you know, I've spent some time collecting and hacking these things. This one looks just like the others, same size, same idea, but there are two differences that you can notice from the outside. One is that there's no hole on the plaque for the motion sensor, which is usually just a light dependent resistor. It's not there. Second is the power jack and power supply. On this one, you get a micro USB port on the bottom, off to the side of it, and it comes with a nice long USB cable and adapter. On a practical level, this means you can power the fish over USB either on your table or on the wall without the cable getting in the way. In terms of hacking, it also means that the board and the motors in here are all optimized to run off five volts, which is great. That said, you can also run it from batteries, but motors tend to suck up the battery life pretty quick. To get in here, you need to remove all the screws from the back and the catch is these all have a TR10 style head. This is like a kind of a star shaped looking head. It's pretty unique. I have a iFixit toolkit that I used to get this open. If you have something similar, great. I'll leave a link to the toolkit I used to get it open down in the description. Now, when you open this fish, I recommend putting something clean between the fish and the table because the rubber of the fish picks up all the dirt and dust that might be on your table and it starts looking nasty. Here's what it looks like inside. And here's the board that's making it all happen. And really, this is the only major component that's different between this fish and any of the other ones. Not only is this board handling audio playback and driving the two motors, but it also handles wireless communication with an Amazon Echo. Most likely that's being handled by this part of the chip. You can tell because it has the antenna trace on the board. I was also curious to see if the USB power jack was wired up to carry data in addition to power and it doesn't look like it, power only. Beyond the board and the power input and the button on the front, you also have the speaker and the wires running off to the two motors. One motor is dedicated just to moving the mouth and the other motor handles body movement, run in one direction, it makes the tail flap, run in the other direction, it makes the head come up. So that's what's inside the new Alexa Billy Bass. As something to hack, I think it's probably as good or better than the previous generations because it's all been optimized for USB power. But as an Echo accessory, I think it's a little disappointing. Even as a novelty, it doesn't pass through any audio from the Echo. The mouth doesn't sync up very well and it only activates when Alexa is talking, not for news or for podcasts or any other audio that might come out of your Echo. That may be something they fix down the line. Mostly though, it's a bummer that it only works with Echo and is not broadly Bluetooth compatible. You can't work this with your phone or a Google Home. It's locked in. That said, I do have an existing Instructable up on how to hack any Billy Bass to respond to an audio input because you're just connecting directly to the motors. If you're looking to hack yours, I think it's still a good resource. I'm also working on getting an updated version of that guide to make it even easier. All right, that does it for this video. Be sure to subscribe and also check out my Maker Update email list that goes out once a week with other hacks and tips and projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.